Okay, let's remember how to play this game. Since last time I booted up it was probably October, maybe? Mm. What am I wearing? Oh yeah, I'm a fancy hipster. Winky winky. I look like such a professional detective. Actually, what the fuck was I doing? Okay, nine o'clock. You'd find this a sufficiently tragic tape to play on the boombox to memorise the lyrics. Need to get hold of that sad song. Okay, who made the call? Keep searching for the caller. Joyce is encourage you to ask others to explain the world to you in greater detail, yep. Find this person you'll know who tampered, yeah. Yeah, not got any clues on that. Find a way into the secret passage. That's not happening, man. Ask who knows, not getting much information there. That's about the time meaning, not got much far further there. Oh, it's still Tuesday. Did I not sleep? What time? I thought... The bed is still cold from the broken window, and not too inviting. But it's yours. You've earned it. So, I thought it was Wednesday at this point. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face. I'm such a beauty. With the expression. <laughs> You've forgotten life. I think I need more of an explanation. Um, tab plus the button. Okay, that's that. Where you can buy kids' clothes, except. Good point. I. Gonna be honest, I don't really buy kids' clothes, so. I don't think I'm going to be much help there. Matalan? Two of a kind, what can I say? Not going to lie, I do love Matalan. My favourite pair of orange shorts are from there. Fun fact. Yeah, it's just a shame it's so far away from me. The woman in an RCM patrol officer's uniform winces as she notices you. I would really prefer not to talk to you right now. A patrol officer is the lowest rank in the RCM. Below Lieutenant and Sergeant. Hmm. Actually, do I have one in Oxford? Am I being stupid? It's highly likely I'm being stupid. 
Oh fuck off you piece of shit website. I've got one about 20-25 minutes away. I'm lying. The one I used to frequent because I used to live like 45 minutes from here was about 20 minutes away and that's the one that's still in my brain as the one I frequent. I'm on a murder investigation. Are you, a, are you the cavalry? Okay, McFlurry done. Is everything alright? Why don't you want to talk to me? Ah, uh, I'm on a murder investigation. Are you the cavalry? I'm definitely not the cavalry. Why not? Yes, I am. I'm a cop too. Here's the real deal. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, why would I want to talk to you? <laughs> Have I wronged you? I've done that to a lot of people. It's cool to see another cop. I thought Kim and I were the only ones. God, I don't know why I'm just <laughs> trying to do my best. I'm deeply flawed and individual, but I bring joy to the world. Let's just do this by the book, okay? Why? I bring word of the end to come. Oh. I'm going to be a nice guy. Have I wronged you? I've done that no, to a lot of people. No, you haven't wronged me. It's okay. Something changes in her. It's pity. Pity comes over her. Okay, fine. Let's talk. What did you want? What precinct? Am I from? God, he doesn't know. Fucking deranged lunatic. I don't... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, did. What are you, the police I'm doing here? I'm just looking out for... You? No one. I'm just a man with sunglasses. And you are? Yes. A policewoman who just wants to do her job. That's all. Well, that went swimmingly. You look like shit. And I don't mean that as a metaphor. Look, it doesn't matter, it's what's on the inside that does. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm going by here. Oh, come on, Jean. It looks like it's been a rough week on him. It's not just this week. What do you want? Don't even try to win him over. He won't. Kim, who is this guy? There's something strange about this guy. Figure it out. Let's roll the dice. You know what it is. It's like the two of you know each other. Just ask him. Oh, I definitely know you from somewhere. Another life. Yes, from another life. A different life. Maybe the life of a police officer belonging to the ranks of the... To what station do you think you would belong in this alternate and totally fictional reality? Oh, this is annoying. I should know the answer to this, but I've taken a month off. I think even in this fictional reality, the 57th would still be my station. My condolences. <laughs> Go ahead. Have another guess. 41st. Okay, okay, that's plausible. That's entirely plausible. Now we're really getting somewhere. I'm a genius. Somewhere good. Let's talk more about the hypothetical you mentioned. 
Uh, okay. First, he blinks aggressively. I'm not too busy. You're not busy. Let's just play around. So what are our relationship to be in this alternate universe? Do you have a crime to solve? Who else is the imaginary police station? Let's be crazy. Let's say you and I are partners. How's that for a thought experiment? Like partners no, in crime? because in this thought experiment we are police officers. In a police station, we don't do crimes. We're not crime bros. Come on, stop it. Okay. Do you have a crime to oh, solve? Oh, no, no, no. You see, I enjoy watching other better cops solve crimes. And let me tell you, it's been quite a privilege seeing you work. This isn't helping. Who else in our imaginary police station? You're not going to believe this, but police officers. Yes, sir. Solving crimes, locking up bad guys, and and get this, and not getting that drink on at two o'clock. Just some regular boring motherfuckers Who's in suits the and uniforms. Son of a lie. Oh, it's you, you eccentric genius. I mean, with your unorthodox approach to police work, it has to be you. I've not had a drink in days. That is slander. Not even a little bit. It's an urban myth. About an officer who is so far undercover, he can't remember who he is. As I said, just an urban myth. You are not the son of Lang. He's trying to protect you from further rough handling, dished out by the sunglassed man. <sighs> Neither can I, partner. Neither can I. It's a mere second, but it feels like you saw something. A gram of compassion in that sadness. Mm -mm. I'm not getting involved in this. It's not my style. But in Kim, fact, you're our friend. At the man in sunglasses and the woman beside him. Oh boy, they're mad at him. About what? You don't look like a cop. You know what you look like. Like a prophet? Not the prophet shit again. No. No, he says calmly. He just keeps staring at you. No, he doesn't. If I wasn't clinically depressed, I'd burst out laughing. But I'm <laughs> gonna go with no right now. Fantastic. If you don't answer the question, maybe you want to hear me say Actually, things. Actually, I don't want to hear you say things. Pretty rude. Come on, Jean. Okay, say things. I want to hear you say things. Hear that? He wants you to say things. Say one. Always listen to the so, voices in your head. Do you know who hanged him? Clearly. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know. Why are... Who knows why we do the things we do? Somehow, bouncing those ideas off the man with sunglasses felt calming. Like you've done it before. Oh my god, there's more. You want... Okay, why not? So... Okay, you know, I don't do know. Oh my that? god. Watch out for you. That voice... So very familiar. Did you hear it when calling to your station and report? Oh, really? I wonder where. That's the where you remember me from? You don't say. Goodbye, then. The voice thing. Okay. The man with the sunglasses and his hypothetical Station 41. Weird, right? There's something missing here. Something you can't put our finger on. You know what? Just ask him. I know it sounds crazy, and you'll probably get laughed at. But still. Yes, just... Again? I can't believe... I'm going to say no. Just to see what you'll say to that. Okay? Jean, he said okay. Okay. I was clearly wrong. He is a firefighter. Real nurse, animal control agent, something of that kind, <laughs> not a cop. Go on with your cop work. Don't let me stop you again. Can I help you? Got the 20 real? Oh, uh, yeah. You must be kidding, right? But this establishment only takes cash. Fried, near the gates. Then why are you wasting money? 
Um, do I actually have a big novelty check? No. Oh, I do. Lovely. The face of King. Okay, read that. A cockatoo is a parrot. This book talks about. Okay, I've read that as well. Wait, we can interact Here it with is you. Again. Oh yeah. The note oh, is written. With yeah, a... dealt with that. Um. The worn mat feature. An intricate web of blue. It still kind of looks like. Okay, so I have interacted with everything. Cool, cool. Let's. Yeah, let's level up that. That'll do for now. Except for I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. I want to do one of these. Rip. Oh well, I'll get over it. Oh, hello, dear. There you Aww, are again. Lena, you not got anything to say to me today? The man ponders his cooking utensils Who's and gives you a little man? nod, acknowledging your presence. The man says a couple of sentences in that strange language of his, and then seems to wait for you to speak. Hmm. Horse need more vodka? Okay, so it's vodka that keeps the men happy and in good... Vodka borscht! I love it, Bratan! Fucking necktie. Turn it the fuck up, and then ask for some yourself! Ah, oh, love the fucking necktie. Turning it up seems like a dangerous idea. Honestly, oh, the fuck. place is a powder keg. He smiles, nodding vigorously, then pours half more a bottle vodka. of vodka into more the pot. Problems. With a whistle, he stirs the brew. <laughs> he smiles and nods enthusiastically. Sitting. The mention of their friends. Uh, the mansion man uh, gets his attention, he smiles and delivers us the unfamiliar words and then he falls silent. Okay. Friends is a relative term, I imagine. You see a heavy st Um Okay. Buffs the physique. Um, map. Journal. Okay, everyone is actually open face on the door behind the green. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I want to head. I'm a genius. I knew what I was doing all along. Let's get down here. Just an ordinary war. Okay, this is where I want to go. This must be it. The place basement door. door is weather-worn. The copper nails holding the upholstery in place have turned green from sea air, and there's a knocker shaped like a lion's head. The royal lion, Guillaume's kitten. This knocker will last a lifetime and then some. That's probably the door Evart mentioned. We still need to get the key from this manana first, though. Oh, I can't remember who a manana is. Who the fuck is manana? Uh, 
Joyce, Joyce, Policeman Cloak, I'm never gonna get that. Dice Maker. Where the fuck is. Get the key f to the weasel's door from Manana. I feel I'm gonna have to go back to Joyce, hopefully. can I help you with? You have. Finally. Time to choose sides. He's beautiful, man. Beautiful and just. Evra is a hero. Oh, come on now. He has his uses. How else would he have stayed in power all these years? Or wait. Actually. Corruption. That's how he's done it. Fantastic. Verm-like. Corruption, reaching into the bowels of the earth. The position of my unusual colleague does not reflect official policy. I hope you understand. The RCM does not pick sides. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. Oh, I'm totally I'm picking not sides. a corrupt verm myself. However, if you felt like discussing something how could I stop you are we not human are we not curious to hear another person's take it's only natural we would only be gossiping tell her she'll like you yes your disgusting necktie agrees completely <laughs> let's gossip is <gasps> helping me find my gun I have to turn up the heat on the borscht. Did you now? What sort of borscht is he making? Uh, the cook makes it. It makes it to keep the strikers drunk. It helps the strike crew. That's a classic. And by turn up the heat, I presume you mean put more. Al why, if I may ask, why make them more drunk? Aren't they corked enough already? Yes, detective. What were you hoping to accomplish with this? An strength? act of sympathy for the working man. I set fire to the fumes of struggle. I worship Al Ghul in many ways. Uh, it's uninteresting. I thought it would be make the broth better. Are you curious? A very curious thing to do. I'm a good cop. Let's get people drunk. Truly. But that's how he operates. He just does things, man. And then talks about them. Even if it's inappropriate. A strange equanimity has overtaken the lieutenant. He's just going with the flow now. Easier that way. <laughs> what else? Um, everyone's oh. having to find my gun. That's so helpful of him. The lieutenant looks at you, and you can swear his jaw muscle is trembling. When I said be wacky, I didn't mean wildly. Grossly irresponsible and damaging to the RCM. Unconventional late. police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then go around and tell people about it <laughs> to gauge their reactions. It's all part of detecting. Incredible. Simply incredible. And how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? No. Well, maybe he's not as helpful as you thought then. Is there anything else? No worries. Of course, detective. Should something come up later down the road, don't be afraid to drop by for a chat. Until then, um, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, the wild pines. Uh, not reality. Drug trafficking. Well, strike. Lottie came and said she had a headache and my stomach hurt. Then project hold all over my living room floor and bathroom floor. So, sorted her and had to clean up. Yeah, I'm going to vote that that's probably a bit more than important than uh, me and the stream. I'll let you have that one. 
Oh, I can't remember where they said Manya is. Manya. Manya, Manya. Oh, the... <laughs> you get it all sorted now. Class drunk. You know what this means, right? Case solved! Cracked. All in a good day's work. Wait, what did I crack exactly? Open and shut. I don't even need to think about this anymore. Goodbye. What do you mean, what did I crack? <laughs> Look Glass at how off. working class that drunk is. Ah, oh, Chelsea, I hope she feels better soon. And I hope that she's not any more sick. The thought of sick makes me sick. Um, what do you mean? What can I crack? The working class that is drunk. It's her husband. The missing husband is the future leader of the proletarian uprising. No, it's not. It's the missing yes. husband. And you found him. Now go and uh, tell yeah, the working yeah. class woman. Protect and serve, recruit. Yeah, it'd be nice if it's just a 24 hour bug. Or a 12 hour bug. Or just an hour bug. I'll take all of those. To be honest. Yeah, I'd be jealous as well. Give me champagne, I'm going in. That there's seems like no the right need answer. For champagne when there's honor, recruit. Go and tell the working class woman what you found right now. I somehow don't think that's the right answer. I totally didn't throw that bottle across the room. <laughs> I'm guessing babyish uh, pajamas is not what you're after. You. My husband isn't missing. Very well then. Where is he? Excuse me. I, I don't follow. There's something else hiding in her voice, though. A trace. I found working class room. I thought he might be right, yours. Because working class women come with alcoholic husbands. You know what? Something bad, I guess. I'm sorry I didn't say something. You were right. I do have an alcoholic husband. Although not that one. No, he's not. Or maybe he is. I don't know. He's probably in the park, or in Shambrook somewhere, drinking with his friends. I haven't seen him for... Well, to hell with him! Oh, that kind of babyish. There. She's worried now. Well, if he's with his friends, then he's not really missing. No need to take the case. Don't worry, I'm going to find him and bring she him back sighs, home. But you can detect a... All right, go ahead. Do you have any questions? What does your Honestly, husband look like for starters? Not that different from you. He's disco. Oh, thank God, no. It hasn't come down to this yet. Well, he's... Slightly chubby. How fucking rude. Wait, did she just imply that you're fat? You're not fat. The body type she's referring to is called a Franco Nigerian hard body. I'm gonna say that next time someone calls me fat. 
You both share what? I'm not sure about the rest, but softly round sounds about right. He's not in great shape. What else? He was wearing a dark brown leather jacket with a bright blue inner lining. The lining is hand sewn. I made it myself. It's his cool jacket. God knows it's too cold to run around in this. I even tried throwing it away once, but he just dug it out of the bin. Can you believe it? Well, what can you do? I hope that at least that extra lining helps him keep warm at night. I wouldn't like him to catch cold. She's thinking about him out in the cold, in some park, or on the coast. And it's making her more... Yesterday morning, he went to the library. He went to retrieve my book, and he promised. He promised because we talked about this. We talked about not wandering off again. I, I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know what to do with his addiction. Just makes me feel weak. She turns away from you in an attempt to recover. So you are going to look... She genuinely wants you to now. Don't make her up. Thank you. Please do. She tries to maintain a brave front. I'm sure he will too. When he does, would you let Precinct 57, Kim Kitsuragi, know? I will. Of course, officer. Right. What about... She gives you a... Okay. Um... <coughs> That's awesome. Show me. I've got nothing to say to oh, you. Oh, you're Elizabeth. Um. Where's this fucking woman? I can't remember where she is. I refuse to use Google. Um, maybe I should use Google. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah, I'm just looking. I definitely approve of those. Now, if you don't get them, I'll be upset. Okay, he's a racist. Well, I can't call him a racist. So, how'd you like our harbor? It's but a rest area on the path leading across open plains. Right, you talk to the boss. I what were you going to make? Like men of the plain. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. The mercenary, eh? Who could have killed him? That's indeed the question. Why even do such a thing? What a thought. Why would noble workers resort to such a thing? Unless they were pushed, of course. Your dead guy was an enemy combatant. Ew. And what designs were you going to do on yours and Lottie's? 
Did you kill him? I ain't the murdering type, but that's just me. Large organizations like our union have all sorts of men. He means a more violent faction could easily... Understood. This has been of limited... No problem. I wish... A key, huh? What door is this key supposed to open? Oh, say no more. I got you. I got that key right here. And let me tell you, it's mighty good of Mind you to help us out during Abby. the strike. Working class solidarity, as they say. Are those yours and Lottie's favourites, or just ones that you thought would match well? Uh, I got the key right here. Journey strike, working class. So I'm journey. I took it. I'm a hustle grinder. That's fair enough. Can't go, really go wrong with those ones, really. Uh, I heard something about a weasel and it didn't sound like a local polar weasel, if you know what I mean. Wink. I feel like I will go for that option just because it has winky. Polar weasel? Oh. I know what you mean. I'm pretty sure he's actually Occidental, though. So you're I did Winky for you. Side, my racist friend. What you're looking for is a basement door behind the greenhouse. That's behind the whirling and rags. That's all I know. Our organization is what you call compartmentalized. Means we keep out of each other's business. Okay, but where did you get the... The janitor gave it to me. Nice fella. We talked about life and things that really, truly matter. None of this mess we're in. This jiving and juggling. What's it for? To feed our children, I guess. Anything else I should know about this task, this weasel person? When he'll be home? I'm more of a philosophical dog worker. I like to talk about the big picture stuff. Who I am, who you are, what we are fighting for. Who he is and what they're fighting for? This is interesting. Ask him about the Hardy Boys. <laughs> Do you know anything about Those the Hardy Boys? They're an independent militant group. A bit too high strung, but it comes with the responsibility. They're sort of like you. Preserve the rule of law and all that. Except it's Ebrard's law. But really, they're just like you. We're negotiating our share. Aye. Wait, so in wages, pensions, or how large a share would you Hello like? Me. However, right now we want all the harbor workers to be on the company's board, so they could take part in the decision-making process. Are you a communist? No. I don't think I'm a communist. Seeing something of value and saying I want it all to myself is a much older and simpler notion. No science to it at all. Okay. Even Not a communist. The only things holding someone back are I can't and I shouldn't. Then how can anything ever be mine? But that's okay. We don't have to agree. The prairie is wide enough for all of us. I think it's best you make up your own mind now that you've met him. In my eyes, he is a capable organizer and a decent businessman. I guess you kind of get to be the village chief. He oversees the harbor, makes deals with the owners or other relevant parties. Watches out for his own. By that, you mean corruption? By heavens, why would he not be corrupt? We live in a harsh, harsh and disordered disorder world, world, see? The old man is corrupt for our benefit, and we know it. Appreciate it, even. He is, personally, not too lavish. That does seems lavish to me. He is reasonably lavish, sure. That's his prerogative. It's not like you want a saintly demeanor on a corrupt motherfucker. That would be a manipulative illusion. Besides, there are no non-corrupt systems in the world anyway. And moralism is the most corrupt of them all. Thought I think about political situation. Got the picture. Sure. I've had the necessary free time. Fortunately, there's always time. 
The look in his brown eyes conjures up an understanding. For him, having command of his time is the most important thing. That is all. It all comes together now. The way he speaks about scabs, his general attitude. He's a follower of a 500-year-old Franco-Nigerian Boyadero code. Itself an appropriation of Vespertine cool. That of a noble peasant or a traveling herdsman. True Check to yourself, yourself. Independent in your actions. Maybe I am a Boyadero? No. I could. No. The man sits on the railing. It yeah, let's just leave. Let's go! Okay, so I need to make another thirteen dollars five cent to be able to be uh to afford my uh, room for the evening. I've gone to the wrong place. Please get back there. But I'm curious if the other detective would bail me out again if I uh, didn't come up with the moolah. Kitten. Carefully this Enoch not. silently. I guess. No. Nope. You feel eyes on you, watching you from the window. You're pretty sure the owner of the apartment isn't here. Let's be honest. This isn't what I joined the RCM for. But every day tells you something new about yourself. Apparently, working with the local union boss to get info on an invest. I mind that a local thug is using the RCM for his busy work. But if this gets us to the. On the other hand, we could just leave and tell Evrat we opened the door. No one seems to be tailing us to see if we... Yes, presenting a fabrication is no... The door is right here. Besides, if you never open it, you uh, try to let's be... Open it. What's the worst that can happen? The door unlocks with a... Well, buddy, you opened it. Good job. Let's go. Only curiosity could account for stepping over that threshold. Maybe the... as you hold the open door, you can feel the air moving. A little draft, a whistle. Whistle, whistle, whistle. That's how I hear whistles in my head. Do, do, do. That's what we've got going on in here. Whoever lives here admires fair haired fancy heroes with big mustaches. Smell of disinfectant in the room, smells like chemicals. You can almost feel the warmth of the red sun on the flag. This is the flag of Rivershaw, the suzerainty. This isn't just one sun, but there are little suns dancing around the big sun. This is the sevenfold sun miracle. It's an optical atmospheric anomaly the first settlers saw. Happens in cold weather. Six small suns around the big one. This complex halo phenomena is how old Revachol got its flag. It is but one of the many strange optic atmospheric phenomenon of this wondrous archipelago. You're sure you once saw sun dogs in your youth. And blue flares. Mm-hmm. The tenant is an old-fashioned guy. The lieutenant does not bow to the flag. It accepts your salute with quiet dignity. It is not my flag, he thinks. My flag is the signal blue of the zone of control. Okay, what are we going? Ooh, what's on that shelf? Take the drugs. Okay, what's up on here? A 
row of mugs sits on the shelf. Each one depicts a human figure. A dark-skinned woman grinning amidst mysterious symbols. A broad-shouldered man shoveling potatoes and others. A little ring. Though cheerful, the images on the ceramic make you vaguely uncomfortable. The images betray a lack of interest in human beings. They are merely unflattering caricatures. The owner of these mugs doesn't like people of other ethnicities very much. This person is unhappy. The lieutenant picks up one of the mugs. Then I'm beginning to feel better about without your to yellow this man's apartment. Yes, your broken mug friend would feel very much at home here. The same here. There's the missing tin soldier. Whoever lives here might have used the whirling's container to dump his trash. And now they've drawn the ire of the Union. The plot thickens. Perhaps you should break into apartments more The same often. person who put dead man's clothes in the trash? Who knows? I'm not expecting too much from this clothes in the trash lead either way. Let's go! What's in here? New shirt, I'll take it. Not that I'm a thief, but I'm a thief. Don't judge me. Do, do, do. Master Investigator, you just can't keep yourself away from locked and hidden places, can you? Every inch Android, of this world. The world's secrets were made for you. Okay. Oh, it is Wednesday. Yeah, get back to Everett. Oh, that means I can go and open the uh, lock? Drawbridge? Not drawbridge. Yeah, lock thing. Because I'm an absolute genius. Come on, this way. Fuck you and your game of balls. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Why am I a penis? What did I do? Rusting control panel with loose wires dangling out from the hole where an indicator light used to be, and a mechanical lever sitting in the middle. I'm fairly sure that's not what I said. Or the intended to her. As say. soon as the metal connects against the contact, the water lock starts moving. Water lock, that's exactly what I intended to do. This is progress, this is success. Okay, if we ever need to get to the coast, then this is the way. But please, contain your wanderlust for now. I don't want to focus stuff on to one do. thing. Achieve it, then the next, he thinks. Th Let's go! Breaker box. Ooh, money. No entry. Interesting. Um, can I? Broken fence, knickknacks, swing. It's over here.
Bird in a bird tree, barely audible. Brilliant. <gasps> What's this? What are you? Bunch of smalls and on piece of content. Instrumental version. <gasps> There's no way to listen to the tape without a working tape player. But even just holding the tape makes you feel a little sad. So I've got a tape now. I am one step closer to karaoke. Money, money, Rust money. Peels off the bent iron posts of the swing. The wind whistles through the skeleton of the small house behind you. There's the, yet someone used to live here. Laugh here. Thought it was a good idea to build a soup. In this yard? Someone thought they could have a summer house in a block obscure for cheap. It didn't work out. They abandoned it about a decade ago. What's a block obscure? A black block. A part of the city left unrenovated after the war. Or one that has fallen to gang violence. Or has become inhospitable. Practically, it's not an official term in any way, but look around. No sewage, broken power lines, crime, drunks. Life is tough in the blocks. It's no place to build a summer house. Yes, and you picked it up as part of the Jamrock Shuffle. It's not meant as nagging. Just we should move. I don't think we will solve the murder. With you never know what we're going to find over here, Kim. Really? That's big enough that it needs to have a load screen? It's only a red chair. Just a red chair in an empty shack. With what looked like a dusty bow tie on the shelf. Nothing to see here, right? Investigate the blood red chair. You're going to leave it alone, Harry. That's what you suddenly feel afraid of the chair. It looked. Must investigate everything. Postcard. Bow tie. Okay, underside of the boat, recently tarred. What's over here? Okay, found a fuel canister. Did I want a fuel canister? A banged up motor carriage lies half submerged in the icy water, slowly sinking into the Insulindian ocean. Only the cabin top, rear wheels, and the engine remain visible. It must be cold and lonely down there. In the it appears to be so. Let's investigate. We should definitely investigate. You get a sudden sinking feeling. Stomach acid comes up as you look at the motor carriage in the deep, dark, cold. Why the doom and gloom? It's just a sunken motor carriage. Some motor carriages are bound to end up in the sea. Why are you so many people at once? Bring your hand over the cold metal. Was it? How long has it been here? What should we do? 
The logo is too deep in the murky water. You can't make it out. But you do see a monkfish float by. The motor carriage is properly stuck in the ice. Getting it out would require a team of... The ice hasn't closed around the vehicle yet. My guess is it's been here since last Saturday or Sunday. Let's wait for the low tide and see what's inside. I don't know. An hour or two tops? <laughs> As you sit down in the old, rusty playground, the world around you becomes very silent. The hinges creak under your weight, dangerously. Nothing but the sound of seagulls high above in the sky, echoing like distant laughter. Ice Whistle at you. around the blue, spit flies from your mouth Rip. to your moustache, your chest, the ground before you. No sound, though. I'm amazing. Raining heavily here, Chief. Mind keeping it down a bit? <laughs> the lieutenant must think it's rather funny. He smiles and quickly turns away. I'd like to see you try this blue in this bloody wind. With his lips puckered, the lieutenant lets out a beautiful melodic trill that puts even the insulindic thrush to shame. You hear the sound echo on the large body of water. Clouds race across the spring sky, and suddenly you just feel better about everything. The clouds pass in the sky, and the shadow of the swing moves like the hour hand on a timepiece. Thirty minutes have passed. So, what's your dad say you now? Poise your eyes. That's just insensitive. Would you rather sit on the anthill for an hour or stand in a river of well, leeches? Historically, leeches have been used to prevent and even cure many ailments. Clouds on the horizon grow darker and the shadow of the swing set keeps climbing. You hear the distant rumble of the city. 30 minutes pass. If you have to side with either the strikers or the shipping company, who would you choose? Do you think I will ever find my gun? Man, this is taking a long time. God, I hope so. I'm thinking, if I put enough time into eating right and exercising, I could turn into a living weapon. Then I wouldn't even need a gun. I don't think I'm ever f gonna find my gun. Look around, the world is so big and my gun is so small. Your voice echoes on the water, strange and out of place in the environment. 30 more minutes pass. Your voice echoes on the water, strange and out place in the environment 30 more minutes pass can you make Detective, out the mark now i've been able to make out the mark ever since we arrived i find it odd that you haven't it's a coupri model 40. it is a simple and rugged machine favored yes 41. what do you think it stands for if i made a mistake and actually called this one coupri 41 Oh, street gang, I guess district something looks like factory me. The morning hose, 41, huh? Street cars. Right. Or oh, 41 is the number of a police precinct? Your precinct. Don't go doing too much, Jels. You're supposed to be resting. A massive pit opens up in your stomach, and the most terrible feeling comes over you. You feel like you're about to faint and fall off the swing. Your hands get clammy and the air tastes sour to breathe. Oh God, Harry. Oh God, Harry. What did you do? No. Just nope. Say no to this, Harry. <laughs> Calling me daddy isn't going to get you out of this. Ah, it's good to see my character can't drive either. Drives his car straight into the fucking ice. I'm afraid so, yes. It looks like you drove your police motor carriage into the sea after you jumped across a canal. The lieutenant adjusts his glasses and doesn't say there is also a fourth thing more precious than the gun. Of whom? I don't think so. 
If anything, you were probably drunk. Probably. Try definitely. How do we Detective, get help? We don't. A rescue operation really isn't viable at this point. I'm afraid it will have to be there like that. That is very unlikely. You'd be lucky to find one undamaged component in there. In a few months, there will be nothing. Well, not cheaper. This motor carriage costs 40,000 real. But in the long run, it still makes more sense to buy a new machine than try to refurbish this. Let's face it. This is a substantial loss to your district's budget. I mean, my station only has four other vehicles in addition to my kinema. They're not going to take me back after this, are they? People are more valuable than machines. Training a police officer is even more costly. People, yes, but not you. <laughs> Rip. Yes, let's go take a look. Ooh, my badge. A police badge on which you see the photo of a man. You. Some seaweed is stuck to the back. At least something good came out of all this. Encased between two durable plastic sheets is a bluish card with lines of information and a watermark in the shape of the street grid. Have you not eaten West. yet? You see a photo a name, a rank, a document number, the date of issue, and, in the lower right corner, your precinct. The man keeps winking at you with his green-gray eyes. The photo is old, no doubt about that. Good choice. A newer photo, eight, maybe ten years. The guy in the picture is rather good-looking. He's got a nice haircut and is distinctly lacking in massive sideburns. You need more than a vegan sausage roll. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. What do you think? His face is already contorted by the expression, although it looks less grotesque on him than it does on you now. It looks better on him because he isn't in as much pain while producing it as you are now. Although there's already a hint of that pain, certainly. Don't be fooled. The bad times of all. The badge in your hand shines. Harrier? That's long for Harry. So you are a Harry. Evrat was half right. Probably not a lot of people know your full name. Whoever told him you're Harry Dubois didn't. Strange. It doesn't say R Raphael Ambrose Costier. Not strange at all. Your name is Harrier Dubois, like it says on your police badge. Wait, what kind of name is Harrier? Pleased to make your acquaintance, Harrier Dubois. We've spent three days together. I've been he's lying to you this entire time. Harrier. He'll keep calling you officer when he's angry with you. And detect the badge in your hands shines. Lieutenant W. Freighter. The lieutenant is a rank above sergeant and below captain. It's the highest rank in the RCM that still does field work. I am a lieutenant. The title of Yefrator is added to your rank when you decline a promotion to a higher rank. In your case, captain. You have declined twice, thus your double Yefrator. Well, you have to. They're the rules now. There are many reasons one would do this. The rank above you in your precincts, the contage might be taken. Or sometimes promoted officers do not want to replace their superiors out of respect. And sometimes they just prefer the type of police work available to their current rank. In your case, lieutenant. Oh, yes. My answer is yes. Heavy duty case solving machine. I thought my rank was drunk. Yes, uh, apparently you've had a rather successful career in the past. And this leads me to believe maybe your current situation is only temporary. 
I'm sure I've made weirder. It's fine. I mean, I used to add golden syrup to sandwiches. And they were damn good sandwiches. I feel I did say more than yes before, but I can't remember what I said, so I'm just going with yes. That's also fine. Uh, apparently he had a rather successful career in the past. He forced to explain this maybe your current situation is only temporary. I'm afraid there are no ex-alcoholics. I don't want to get better. Good. That gives me hope. Decontage is the hierarchical system employed by the Revachol citizens militia. It means counting down to twos. The lowest rank is junior officer, usually teenagers. Then there are the patrol officers, then sergeants, lieutenants, and then a captain. That's basically it, except for a few kings. Kings like satellite officers and the additionally a freighter rank I already explained. The long and short of it is, you're his superior. You are given the title of satellite officer if your partner is quickly promoted through the ranks and you rise with him. You don't seem to be a satellite. So you've been put up with all my bullshit because I'm your superior? No, I've been putting up with you because despite an unconventional approach, you are doing good. It matters more than driving your motor carriage into the sea. <laughs> and now we've even found your badge. He trusts you, for now. Such a small yet precious thing. That's just the serial number. Revachol, Jamrock, Precinct 41, with some numbers thrown in there for good measure. Four months ago. I'm guessing that's when you were promoted to the rank of Lieutenant W. A new badge usually comes with a new rank. You seem to have been doing well. The pain in your chest tells you you were working yourself to death to earn that. The case created a lot of edge you have to take off. The death march really gets us going. A lot can happen in four months, especially in winter. The winters are never easy on you. Of that you are sure. Winters are always fun. I remember that time! That was a good time! We had a good work-drink balance going! What happened, man? Pump it up! Yes, it's the designation of your precinct. 41. Like mine says 57. The 57th is mostly industrial harbor. A lot of asphalt. The 41st is... It's a tough station to work in. You have all of Jamrock to cover. That district should have three precincts, but money is what it is. It's no wonder you are like you are, he thinks. But then again. What are you humming at? But then again, it's a legendary district and a hell of a station too. It must be an honor and a curse to work with people like Price, McCoy, Berdyayeva. You need more than mozzy sticks. The badge in your hand shines as you rotate it, catching light. I have a badge. I am a genius. Okay, we'll start with mozzy sticks and then see how you feel. Deal. The worn and beaten Why not? Planks of the bench. Hmm. We can sit on benches Sounds after mean. we've sold them. You can revisit the bench if you ever need to pass the time. Up rock.
Let's go speak to these drunkards. You stop mid-step and put your hand on the garish neck pad. That bottle, Bratan! Just look at that bottle! In this drunk's hand, on the pipe there, glowing blue, a mysterious, otherworldly blue, filled to the brim with holy mysteries. It's hard to know what exactly your vivid interior is speaking of here, but I'm guessing it's got a lot of alcohol in it. Oh, I think this is about so much more than cool. Please go talk to him. See what it's about. I'm drawn to it. Hey, tequila. Good to see you. How's business? How's the whole reality situation treating you? So what's happening? Tequila? Yeah. Tequila Sunset. <laughs> How are the um, high concept reality based adventures proceeding? Good. These people know your true name. Looks like it has preceded you, Mr. Sunset. Like this guy, you should too. He stream. respects you by calling you your true name. I've re entered reality to conquer it, to bend it to my will. I am the law. Nothing special like everyone else. I have all sorts of wild thoughts running through my head, and then pick the most boring one. That's the spirit. I used to shape reality into my image a long time ago. Those days are over now. Shit stain liquid TM jacket with a grim expression. Sadly, things aren't going that well in Idiot Doom Spiral. Jail smooth. Haven't found those keys yet. Get some food and then you can get comfy that. again. No word from my business buddies. This guy's your buddy, buddy. You feel it immediately. You belong to an organization, a fraternity of drunks. It's you. No quitting. Go get mozzy sticks. Then unglue it. We've met before. Don't you remember? Aha. Do you want to know how tequila sun Tequila. Tequila sunset. Something ominous there. Maybe I should learn what it means. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Let me take a sip to moisten up my cords. Tequila Sunset rolled into Martinez last Friday. And by Tequila Sunset, I mean you. The man, the myth. Hey, let's not jump ahead of ourselves. This is your story. <laughs> Stop interrupting. Fantastic. You got here on Friday to solve a case. Hoping to be the early bird who gets the worm. And by the worm, I mean the buzz. Because as far as I know, all you did was get pissed drunk. Word on the street is you went around the local hostel telling people that you're a police officer. And that it would be really fucked up if you shot yourself in the head right in front of them. That's pretty high concept if you ask me. Oh yeah, that's totally your... The lieutenant's brow is furrowed. He's yeah, listening yeah, as casually comes as he can. Hey, man, I'm not judging. This life's a valley of woes. Some of the highest concept people in history have killed themselves. And been drunks. Either not sure way, that's true. It was a late Saturday night when we, the Union of Marabond Alcoholics, got our drink on. Nothing remarkable about this. We get our drink on 24-7. Makes everything warm and glowy. I trust you know the feeling. Oh, yes, you do, Bratushka. <coughs> the only thing better than that is putting the pedal to the metal after you kiss the tie. And off we go. One moment we hear the sound of a motor carriage revving up somewhere on the plaza, followed by a series of dings and bangs. 
Do you remember the sound of wood cracking? The bill Naturally, loud noises pique the interest of anybody owning a pair of ears. That's just the reality we're in. Naturally. Anyway, there was a brief silence. A gasp of silence, if you will. Followed by a real commotion. We heard the carriage careening towards the coast at top speed. Sounded like someone jumped the canal. We grabbed our brewskis and rushed to the jetty. Never underestimate the speed of an alcoholic. What we saw was a sight to behold. A beat-up police carriage containing you. Right there on the beach, you revved the engine and screamed at the top of your lungs, The time hath come! So, naturally, being the curious cat I am, I asked what time hath come. To which you replied, The time hath come for tequila sunset! The end of all things! Every word I said was true. It's more dick fight that way. After which, your reality contracted. You jammed the pedal, plowed right off the jetty, and threw the ice. Your hands cramped on the steering levers. We ran towards the ice whilst you crawled your way out, miraculously unhurt. Covered in seaweed and shit. Like some kind of sea monster. When we finally got there, you were sitting on the beach crying. You said that your badge and uniform were in the car. It was too late to get in there, though. Recognizing a brother in need, we offered our condolences and invited you to party with us. With what else was there to do? Thank you, brothers. We asked about the whole tequila sunset thing, and you told us it was your name now, and insisted that we all call you that from then on. No, that's just what your mother called you. Your real name is Tequila Sunset. Just embrace it, brother! Ours. It was an all-night drinkathon. Then, at some point, I think it was Sunday morning, you got belligerent and wanted to talk about how they're beautiful and also whores and so on. How one of them fucked you real bad. After a short while, you crossed the event horizon, looked sullen, Chelsea, got you moved yet? and left without saying anything. Wow. That... Yeah. I bet Tequila's a fucking legend around the precinct. You must be proud to work for If you only knew. Did I tell you anything about the person that fucked me? Losing anything else? Did I say anything? Gels do more than a wiggle and get off the spot. You told us that they were a bunch of fucking losers whose main interest was cramping your style. It's more like you were cramping theirs. No specifics, though. It was... You were pretty vague about it, but you kept saying you got fucked real hard, and that we've all been fucked, too. Please, don't open that door. No one's fucked me. I do the fucking around here. Abigail! Don't call Abigail Abigail. It seemed pretty painful, to be honest with you. If I had to guess, I'd say you're still working through some shit. Beside your gun and your badge, you said something about your hope or heart or something. To be honest, the details are a little hate. In retrospect, I guess you lost your motor carriage too? That's a big one. Yeah, you said it was no biggie and that you'd solve it in no time. Do it, Charles. And that you didn't need anyone to do it. You're doing it solo now. Uh... A lot of cops go solo and hermit once they reach that level of alcoholism. It's not meant as a joke. He's sorry for the hermit cop. Yeah, you kept talking about how the coal mine owners were fucking us all over, just like that woman fucked you. I didn't agree with you, by the way. 
The spectral hand of the market makes sure everyone gets exactly what they deserve. You kept apologizing for being such a bad cop and for the damage you inflicted on everyone around you. I thought you wanted mozzie sticks. Pausing to knock the heel of your hand against your You originally said mozzie sticks, stupid, get mozzie sticks. Stupid, stupid. It's a hard thing for a man to confront his past. That's why I avoid mine at all costs. Whoop de doo. So now I'm a fucking storyteller. Right. Why not? Better than a beach bum. Well, you have to have something It depends, really. Are you willing- The gleam in his eyes and the slout in his posture. I don't want it, man. I need it. Can't tell stories. So, have you got anything for good old idiot Doom Spiral? A bottle for a story. Seems interesting. Ah, this is what they use to keep the working man going. Yeah, and you need more than a sausage roll. Hey, Spiral Boy, you gonna share that? Don't call Abigail! Shut up, guys. I'm telling a story here. Something happened to you. Something happened to me, yep. too. My actual name is George. But around here, you already know. I was once a reasonably high net worth individual. A founder slash junior partner at a high concept creative services agency. When my st I used the profits from my agency to finance what I called a cultural incubator. Abstract value generation, value per person. I developed the paradigm, worked within the paradigm, but the burden of leadership weighed heavily on me. So I went jogging every so often to keep myself sane. Who did you have working for you? 22 full-time employees. An all-star team. A potentially historical set of individuals. Worrying about them often kept me up well into the morning hours. It did. With my trusty Sansarik tracksuit, I felt like I could conquer, but now dreams are worn thin, much like my tracksuit. One day I left on my evening run. As you may know, it's impossible to clear your head when you're distracted by the sound of keys jangling in your pockets. His eyes are clouded. His dilated blood vessels encircling his irises like stinging brambles. So I removed the key ring and put the keys for the front gate and the apartment into different pockets to stop the jangling, you see. At least, that was the plan. I was halfway done with my usual lap when it started to rain. The reality situation became very wet, very quickly. Wet, okay? It was raining really hard. I made my way back home and discovered that I didn't have the key to the front gate. I'd mixed it up with the key to the letterbox, which was useless. Naturally, the situation required me to climb over the gate, which I did. There was no climbing down because I slipped and landed on my ass. No, you don't. <laughs> Whatever. The point is, reality was looking rather grim just then. Me lying on my ass in a mud pit in the middle of a heavy shower. But when life knocked me down, I always got up. So I made my way across the yard. Standing in front of my apartment door, fumbling with my pockets, I realized that I'd also forgotten my apartment key. I rang my neighbor's buzzers. It was late, and most of them didn't even answer. Those who did assumed I was trying to sell them something and hung up. People are naturally wary of ad men, you see? One moment someone chats you up, five minutes later you've bought a box of edible lingerie and a strap-on. I don't begrudge them, especially since it was known to be one of the best. 
That's a line. <laughs> One moment someone chats you up, five minutes later you've bought a box of edible lingerie and a strap on. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Just then I experienced a moment of clarity. I still had the key to my office. I could wait out the st but when I reached my office, I remembered that I'd asked one of my producers to change the locks that day. And since I hired is that what normally happens best, when someone's trying to sell you something? You just come back with now, dildos and yeah. edible lingerie. Anyway, long story short, life. Because if so, that you can have that for dinner. I haven't gotten into my apartment for years, and my girlfriend left me because she didn't want to date a homeless man. The company, well, you see where I'm going with this. So, now you've heard my tragic tale. What do you think? Like nothing you've ever heard, huh? The hobo lifestyle definitely has some perks. Not having to pay rent, first and foremost. You're not making this easy. Not being responsible for 20 other people is nice, too. But that charm wears off pretty quickly. Before you know it, you're wearing a shit-stained tracksuit and spending your days picking tear. I'm beginning to realize that. What you guys do around we here? We are saving the world. Please, please, I'm caught. Okay, we're drinking. We're drinking alcohol. That's what we're doing. I tried to save the world once, a long time ago, with. I'm not going to be able to persuade you any further, am I? But that didn't work out. <laughs> Cheeky. So now it's a pirate's life for me. Good fucking question, Tequila. If I knew the answer, you think I'd be hanging out on a beach in this formerly premium but now extremely dirty two-piece Lycra tracksuit? Yes. I used to own my reality situation. My business buddies and I had our own creative services agency. I had a nice apartment, an even nicer piece of ass. But somehow it all got away from me. And did he not come back to ask you? Now I can't hang on to anything. Because that's the type of thing I'd Just remember to come back and ask. This nice new jacket. But then I lost it too. The only things I haven't lost are these... I'm not sure if I'm happy or sad about that. Uh, nice new jacket, I lost it, the only thing I haven't lost are these two drunks. You of all people should empathise with this. Perhaps this lost jacket is something you could help with? But My not today. Man. The Boom Boom Room. Our concept was combining high art with the lowest forms of marketing. The color red, breasts, and oil painting. I convinced my partners to reinvest some Fair. of our profits in an even more high concept cultural incubator called Thin Air. The artists were happy, the clients were happy. I was financing a group of poets in East Rebishal who were developing a new universal poetic language. But then it all went to shit. It's all painting breasts to make ads isn't high art, it's just cynical wankery. That's so high concept I have no idea what it means. Man, mixing high and low mo commodifying culture, that is extremely my shit. Eh, cynical well, wankery. You know, sex sells. That's the first rule of advertising. Yeah, actually, you're right. Let the market sort it out. No need for me to regulate stuff. Maybe, but it's still tired. Maybe you're right. Who knows? Maybe What's all the tracksuit? You've never seen 100% Lycra before? Go on. Feel that. You really shouldn't touch it. I admire it from afar. Touch it. Pretty nice, huh? This might be one of the last of its kind. Should probably be in a museum. Uh... Good God. It's nearly impossible to describe how dirty this texture is. <laughs> it's like rubbing two jellyfish skins together. You feel about 15% less human for having touched it. Oh, that... 
Yeah. Randomized trials have also found Lycra TM to be associated with a number of exotic, highly malignant cancers. So you also have that to look forward to. Fantastic. And then there's the smell. But you don't even want... Wow, you're lucky. You know That's because your paws are fucking filthy, Rosie. We're right next to the bay. You could wash them any time. My fellow members of the Union of Moribund Alcoholics, they're exactly what they look like. Hey, tequila! You wanna buy some speed? Shut the fuck up, Rosemary. He's a cop, remember? <laughs> I thought he was a cool cop. <laughs> Don't call up a guy. And this is Abs. So yeah, that's basically us. We drink together. <laughs> Tequila, it's a verifiable tragedy. It was practically brand new. Sure, it didn't really go with my legal I just had to, it's an angriest it moment. My... How? Those two aren't usually mixed together. They're normally mutually exclusive. Say, you're a detective, right? Maybe you can help old Doom spiral out. Solve the case of the missing jacket. What do you say, Tequila? Wait, you're asking police officer to f help find a jacket you stole and then lost? Yeah, exactly. Okay, sure. Where'd you lose if it? I knew where I lost it. Don't you think I'd have it? I mean, maybe I was up by the boardwalk or walking along the beach or checking out the abandoned somewhere north of here. That's for. I'm all ears, Tequila. What's in a. Hey, Spiral Boy! Don't call! Shut up, guys. I'm telling a story here. I was once a reasonably high net worth, so you don't want to. I do. I was angry but as you because can see, my just fuel went... tank is running quite Fuck, well. I haven't made Lottie's lunch if for school. Then happy money. because it was like, wait, she's not. <laughs> that sounds like some, some stupid shit that I'd do. It's the kind of thing I normally go around looking for something and then I find out it's been in my hand the entire time. Like a big ass mobile. Cotton mouth. You too. The noxious odor emanating from the drunken man is Don't you call her? Yeah! Don't you call Abigail! Right. You might have found the one person who doesn't know you are the low, given how drunk he is. <laughs> Donuts funded by the church. Abigail. Oh, Abigail. Uh huh. Abigail. Don't you fucking call Ab Abigail is his wife or girlfriend. Chances are she's gone. Never thought you'd see such a thing in your life. But this oh, donuts is funded by the church. That took me a second to realise what you meant. Don't call Abigail. Now I want donuts. Hiccups, you buy me donuts? Mumbles something unintelligible. He snorts and beckons you to lean in. Close. Don't call Abigail. Don't call Abigail. <laughs> There's no use in Yeah, that's how shit my memory is. It took me a good like two minutes really to remember what you meant. Hacking cough. Don't you don't, don't, Does that mean don't you're a believer don't. once you spend that money? There was little chance he'd be Okay. What have we got? Jamrock Shuffle. Jamrock Shuffle, Cold and Mamakua. They didn't. They decided we'll give. We will buy the Demon of Wrath. I mean, if they can convert you, they can convert anyone. Uh, some kind of superstar in our modes of taxation. If 
Fuck it, I'm going with Superstar. Let's make me a Superstar Hobo Cop. I feel I'm going to need to actually get rid of some of these soon. If I want to get any more. Um, you? Good to see you, friend. Do They're going to try. Set up for you, buddy boy. So what do you want? I've got smokes. They're cheap. Very cheap. I've got pills now. Great deal. You won't get a better deal on Hey, Pixie. Thing. How are you? Spirits I can let go for 300 real. I also have speed. And by speed, I mean amphetamine. See? There it is, Bratushka. The spirit. Let's buy the spirit. 300 real is a lot, but this has to be done. It's our end game. I need to buy that spirit. This is another stupid drink idea, man. Return, you don't understand. It's not I'm good, just Pixie. Drink. This is what our relationship has been How was your movie earlier? All these years. This is the claim. You have to buy it from him. Get it off him. Kill him if you have to. Our ultimate fate. The lieutenant looks at you, looking at the bottle of spirits, then Who's at the Rosemary, mm. suspiciously. Quite the business venture you set up here. See, friend. It's real valuable. Worth every real, if you catch my drift. Got it from a bit of a business venture. Ah, I'm glad. What are you up to now? I'll, I'll just have the spirits and not the story today, thank you. Let him you speak. Know, it's funny, actually. <laughs> He's finding it difficult to focus his watery What? This guy, this guy. Conversation might bring Where'd a discount. No. Oh, this is medicinal spirits. The good stuff. Got it from the doctors. He ain't shitting you! Medicinal spirits are a blast, Bratan! The flaming truth of this joke of a world! Sounds like a nice way to finish your evening. Yeah, yeah, shut up, I'm here. Good, Chelsea. It's about time you had some dinner. It's getting a bit late. But I'm grateful you did it. I've got one of those scientific ampoles a few months ago. Torpedo, they call it. It's supposed to keep a man from taking a drink. Didn't stop me for shit, that's for sure. Five lemons with half a pack of butter and you're good to go. <laughs> that's a good tip, I should remember it. That sounds it dangerous. Was. In a week, the goddamn kidneys started giving me all kinds of help. Finally, the missus took me to a private doctor's office. Not a charity, the real thing. Those arseholes. Those arseholes charged me four real to remove the damn thing. But I came out on top after all. But the idiots left me alone in there. Now, I used to teach high school biology. I know what doctors use to preserve dead fingers. Oh, you both need to look better after yourself more. You need to eat properly. You heard me. I'm just worried about you. No, you need to look better after yourselves better. You know what I mean. Stop twisting my badly said words. I guess it's not really twisting if uh, I said them badly. But you know it's just because I worry. It's extremely flammable. One spark in the entire city of Rebachon is wiped off the map. See, now that'd just be evil because you know that wouldn't be my intention. Feels like someone set a mustard field ablaze right inside <laughs> your nose, then wow. drenched it in tear gas. Your nose is a singular source of pain. 
I feel victimized right now. Don't remember the last time you felt so alive. Did I not tell you, Bratan? This is it. This is our party drink. This is what we're having, baby. Please get it for me. Vibrate slightly around your neck so, again. What's the deal, friend? Want this? So what do you want then? His tone is aggressive. You'll get the alcohol boiling his blood causes the agitation. It burns. Finally came to your senses, uh, buddy boy. Ain't nobody else gonna give you a price like that. <laughs> Had to let life squeeze you to get that, huh? Sure, sure, friend. People are just so impatient these days. So that'll be free real from your eye. By amphetamine, I mean speed. I don't like this. I was just trying to be nice and caring. Sure did, buddy boy. That's why I said amphetamine. I mean speed. I mean amphetamine. I got both. Aye. Good, good, my man. Now, what can I offer you? Just make sure to enjoy. Bratan, I am so proud. Now, whatever you do, don't drink it. This deserves so much more than just regular oral consumption. Regular oral consumption. The tie is so on the money there. Up the bum it goes. Who said anything about putting it up there? No, we're gonna put it into a way more special place. So special. Just hang on to it. Keep it safe. Wait for my sign. Soon. The time will come soon. Have patience, brave one. I'm getting a really dark vibe from this. This. In the civilized. Ooh, money on the floor. The scruffy-haired little boy kicks a stone. He can't be more than five years old. The other one looks indistinguishable from him. He watches his brother kick the stone with his tongue lolling out of his mouth. You guys the look identical. The one becomes frantic all of a sudden, as if that's something to be scared of. The obvious fact that you just stated. He looks just like me. The boy doesn't answer. His brother throws another rock. Both of their hair is covered in some kind of dirt. You're bad, risk it. It's impossible to be good with kids. No, that's not... I can't say that. And what are you, Kid Master General? Maybe I am. Now, how about some actual police work? We are not getting anything here. The kids don't reply. Absorb in their little game. Okay, street sign is illegible. Okay, no color. Can we get inside? Ooh, get inside. Mm -hmm. 
What we got going on? Feel safe and warm. Um, yeah, I'll steal the taxidermy. Tap tap. Tap tap what? Why tap tap me? What did I do? Did I do something else wrong now? Oh. I was typing in the loading screen, yes. Is that okay? Not tight. No more tapping, I, I promise not to tap. Or I'll... I'm, okay, I've said promise now, I can't take that back. Hi, officer. Woman in raincoats and quay. Anything I can help you with? Um, that depends on what, where we are exactly. The name is Lillian. People call me Net Picker. I think I have time for questions. What are the other ones? Ask her about the cool sword. It is Helps to bring the ice. jacket. Have you seen it? Nice sword. Got to go with nice sword to start with. Unfortunately, the factory sold this one with a three-year warranty instead of story. <laughs> it's to intimidate folks, mostly. It's imposing. It's a regular mass-produced sword, like a shovel or an axe. Nothing fancy, just for intimidation. From time to time, people need a lesson in respect. That's just the way it is. Back in the day, I caught the eyes of many men. <laughs> and believe me... Men need a lesson in manners from time to time. No, I'm afraid not. Tempting to confiscate the blade I use to keep these animals in check. You put me in an early grave. Is she flirting with you? A little? Why don't more women arm themselves? It's so effective. What makes you think we haven't? <laughs> the truth is that almost everyone in this life is scared and tired and stupid and too dull for that. That goes for men too. But they put on an act for us. Pretend like everything's good and living in shit doesn't bother them. Like anyone falls for that. That does not go for real men. It Point does not go for you. Show her. Show I'm her a proper man, woman. believe me. True, most people I've met are scared. Behold! <laughs> Sure. It looks as if you could face down any horror in the world with that same unchanging grin. It's like a shield. Way. The traces of her laughter are still there, in her eyes, fading fast. Some went to patch their wounds, their lesson learned. Others were more thick-headed. And one of them, I ended up marrying. Yes, I enjoyed the way he bled. If it is, then why the men were gone? Gone. I don't like any of these answers. They're so disrespectful. I guess the most sensible one is gone where? To the waves. The sea took him. It was a long time ago. He didn't respect the sea, went out there drunk like a skunk, and sure enough, one Are day you... the boat was found. I'm disrespectful. The bloated corpse turned up two weeks later. I don't think I can disagree with that. Now, before you tell me how sorry you are for my loss, know that it was four years ago, and I've moved on. There's only so much mourning you can do for a drunk with. She really liked those muscles, though. I'm it's not intentionally disrespectful. I'd like to. Uh... Vote on that option, but it does happen from time to time. Yeah, death is nothing I shit on death. You should have thrown yourself in the waves after him. Time really is the best cure for sorrow. It's better to let go and move on. Got to keep the wheels spinning. Us working folk don't have the luxury to be bedsick with melancholy. 
What did I do, Mayo? For an appropriate amount of time and went on. Whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I didn't say that. I didn't intend to say that. I didn't say that. I'm fairly sure I didn't say that. And if I did say that, I minced my words and said it wrong. <laughs> Some reason I can't take the word slut bag seriously. <laughs> Life didn't really change that much for me and the kids. This is neither a touchy nor a very interesting topic for her. She looks like she's ready to go on a date with another, better, drunk. Ask her. Both of you could need some action. <laughs> God damn it, Elo. <laughs> do it! Hit on the widow! It's the right thing to do! <sighs> Chels, I wasn't sure you were going to actually tell everyone. Oh, man. I'm looking for someone maybe you can help. Idiot spiral over there needs his jacket. Um, Let's see. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for missing cryptozoologists. Uh, I don't think I know what these are. Care to elaborate? No, I said you need to look after yourselves better. After yourselves better. Or I meant to say after yourselves better if I said it wrongly. Uh, people look for imaginary animals. People who look for animals who are hard to find. People who look for animals mainstream scientists deny exist. Aha! Like snowmen. Two old guys have been wandering around here. Nose in sand, talking nonsense about snowmen and the like. I don't really know. Further down the peninsula, I guess. I mean, that's where they were heading. Who else are you looking for besides snowmen? Uh, working class yeah, husband. Yeah, I'm not really looking for that anymore. Not much into the middle class. <laughs> Apparently they don't make those anymore. I forgot how loud that I is. I could help you with that, but I haven't seen your working class husband. Maybe I can oh. help you find someone else. She seems genuinely sorry for not being able to help you. The thing is, it's not even set to 100% volume. <laughs> Can I find that? Okay, what is it? Yeah, that's set to 50% volume. I didn't... Mayo! Don't do this to me. I'm just going to die repeatedly. Uh, how can I assist you then, officer? Oh? Well, how can I assist you then? Remarkable. That one already lost everything else, and now his jacket too. No, Chelsea, you need to eat the mozzie sticks.
God damn it. He has an actual police officer looking for it. Good old doom spiral. Upper management to the core. Hi, Nemo. Are you saying I need to roar every time it roars at me? That that's that's not how this planned out. Fine, you'll get my biggest manliest roar. Rawr. Just trying to help out a stranger. Find it. I'm collecting evidence to charge you for pay theft. How sweet of you. It really is. <laughs> I check around the abandoned fish market on the boardwalk. Oh, that was Drums both of them. Inexplicably drawn to markets. Might be why they have such trouble staying in business. If one of them lost something, that's as good a place to start looking as any. Like I said, fish mostly. Sail the waves, take care of the kids, pick nets. Right now I'm tarring a little skiff. I sell the fish to people in the Delta to serve at their fancy restaurants. Authentic insul Indian cuisine. I think Nimmo's the first one to actually redeem that one. Sometimes I also walk to the beach to see what the sea has given up. This is what is called a conversation. You don't have to be guarded right now. <laughs> you just gotta click all the buttons. Uh, what have you found? I never thought the sea brought in anything particularly interesting. What one sounds quite romantic. Oh, very. <laughs> <laughs> Finding pieces of glass. I'm sure if you request it from Elo, he's got enough points to Humans, redeem stuff for you. Fish, other sea creatures. A mine washed ashore once. A mine? That what sounds else? dangerous. Bottles, drugs also, lost cargo in general. Most of the time it's just wood and glass. Very romantic. Mines. Mines. You need mines. Uh, a mine. Yeah, I see I'm using mines. Where is it? Drugs I need from a mark. Well, you're barking under the wrong tree then, officer. I have no interest in floaters. Seen enough of them in my life already. Very unattractive bunch. Yeah, <laughs> floaters. Yeah, maybe steer clear of the things need reminded to go on a date. her of the floater she used to be married to. Just saying. Uh, so I take it this your skiff points at the overturned sure boat. The sun, I call her, coated with a fresh layer of tar just yesterday. It'll take some time for it to dry, assuming the sunny days continue. Aye. Sunny days. You got a problem with that? No, man. We have. Of no course I do. I live in Britain. Days. We don't have sunny days. Good. It would have been bad news had it turned out it wasn't a sunny day. Bad news for the skiff, bad news for the nets, bad news for the kids. There's a moment's silence. She looks at the slushy snow melt on the yellow oh, God. Of the boat. What are you going to do next time I'm playing Apex? I feel like I need to mentally prepare for anything like that. God damn it. In time, when the sea turns and the wind settles, she will be ready. Was it not painful enough watching Elo make me go, or was it Marco, just turn left? I wasn't allowed to turn right. Or vice versa. Waves wash the sand. A skiff moves across the mirror's smooth sea, far away from here. A lone passenger, a fast sloop in the distance, 
white cells. I didn't say that. That's just... That's just slander. Oh yes she does. You need to get your drink on. There is no other way for human beings to procreate. Not after 6,000 years of yeast cultivation based mating rituals. If I did, those were not the words I intended. I've repeated the words I intended like five times because I'm lazy and I could have said it more. <laughs> Am I just going to finish this with hundreds of clips of me saying stuff badly? Uh, since the dawn of mankind, alcohol has reached over alcohol. It's possible, let's connect. Uh, what? Drunk date, tapped your throat, all we need is booze, rest will follow. Funny. Funny <laughs> sailor jokes. Sorry for not laughing out loud, but the comedy has worn thin over the years. Mayo's gonna st Oh, fuck's sake. That's... Pain. Why did I make poll an option? <laughs> um. Like, is on yeah, can we just leave Regal out of that? I feel I upset him enough as it is. You sure? Stand here. You pissed off my track. Now you reminded her of the husband. Don't get Cray involved. Well, all I know it's is I can't return back to Minecraft anytime soon. How these things work. Oh, that's good to know, I guess. Why is it in the sea? That's great. Until then, you should maybe start thinking about the funeral. Hi. Feels deserved, don't you think? Falling in the line of duty like that and all. By odd. Our things are a part of our life world. They're made with our human sweat and they share human history. We should care about them as we care about humans. To some extent, at least. Oh yeah, <laughs> you won't even be able to get it out of the water before early June. And where are you going to bury it? Who to invite? What music? Take it from someone who's been through a few funerals. It's easiest to just leave them there and let nature take care of it. That's all we have time for right now anyway. Come back here in June and see how you feel about it then. It's not like it's going anywhere. Absolutely. Things like what, for example? Of course, wouldn't change a thing for the world.
Who are you? <laughs> Welcome to the fishing village. Please lean in closer. I have cataracts. If you can. No. Now you're really twisting words. I feel victimised and hurt by these accusations. Um, technically no. <laughs> Mayo. Then yes. Plenty. Tut tut. Only shy now. It's going to be all right. I still have a golden ear. Come, come. <laughs> I can't judge anyone on anything. I'm awful enough the way I am. Oh, welcome, police officer. We don't cause any trouble around here. And we don't want any trouble. We are not here to cause any trouble, madame. Trouble? Say the second thing, Bratan. Shows you got style. <laughs> You're not wrong. What he said, we're cops, we don't want trouble, we take care of trouble. It was click, click, bang, bang. No, you're not. I've seen you around here before. Twelve years ago, you didn't raise any hell. You were quite helpful after. Twelve years ago? But still, in Martinez, you're considered an ill omen. No, not you personally. I meant the RCM. Some of the men got into a fight. One of them killed another, locked himself in that woodshed over there. He was brooding, needed some help opening the door. You got it open for him and took him to think How, about why what he'd done in a do I want to know? Place, somewhere more quiet. Oh, the usual. Dark tidings, black hound. That's you, all right. A black hound licking your own heels. Maybe they are afraid. <laughs> because you are an ill omen. But you're still welcome here, as long as men with guns aren't chasing you, and maybe even that. I was just offering to help. I didn't the realize the job was taken. We've built. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's not a lot. Of I apologize for trying to be nice. And not a lot of ha ah. Look at me ramble on. What brings you to us? What could someone stay around? Uh, stay. Stay? Most people here. That said, if lodgings is what you're looking for, I've got a free room in the shop. I won't charge you for it. Take it as a gesture of goodwill from the village to the RCL. <laughs> God damn it, Nemo. Don't back them up. Some days I just feel it's me against the world.
Oh. No one is using it, and God knows it's not much anyway. You can stay there. Really feels like me against the world. Hmm. That's exactly how we get here. That's why we built our own cinder block houses on the seaside. So we don't have to give money to those crooks. We might not look like much, but they are ours. My kids grew up and left like they do. The house is long empty now. <laughs> I live in the small side attachment. It's easier and cheaper to keep warm. I can't say that you didn't say that. Aye. The room is pretty bare bones, but it's got a bed and roof over it. I can see that. Everyone can see you think well of yourself. Now, are you interested or not? Don't make an old woman regret opening her house to the police. Well, that was if you are not in the idea. hostel in the morning, I know where to find you. He's a little relieved you're no longer in that room. Finally, you have those lamos of Martinez off your back, Bratan. This looks like a great place to bring chicks. <laughs> The fucking necktie every time. Just us. It's barely a village anymore. We almost don't exist. This is pretty much a non place. A gap. A blank spot on the map. Just a cluster of nameless shacks on a nameless street. Uh, there's gotta be something here. Over to tell there, me. you can find more of the same. Sharks and trees growing wild. That's the pox. Between here and Jamrock, a dusty sea of old trees, all covered in industrial soot. Small houses under them, an overgrown park. An old military hospital and its surroundings. Oh, it used to be, during the time of the suzerain. After the war, it was turned into a goodwill hospital for shell shock veterans and folks looking for some quiet in the old sanatorium gardens. Now the area is crisscrossed with nameless streets Love, as as and like makeshift tea. cinder block houses. Shacks as far as the eye can see. The goodwill ran out. The staff left and the place was shut down. It's well, there's Lillian and her kids. A few new folks live in the house to the east. But they are away right now. And then there's the drunks. Not a pretty sight, but there's little we can do about it. Home is home, even for them. Lillian is tough. Tougher than the men here, at least. If it wasn't for her and the kids, this place wouldn't have a spark of life left. I'm sure you did. Nature keeps them in rotation. A new face pops up every now and then, and an old one disappears and is forgotten. This is who we are. You're not allowed to be social. Relax, you're not a new face. Here, for you, no officer. The only money we have here is some coins the drunks tried hiding from their women and then forgot about. Under carts, boats, in little boxes, it's not hard to find. She nods, rinsing another piece of... Not much. There's the abandoned church, the Dolorian Church of Humanity. It's been there since before my time, even. Some things just don't fly, officer. Look around. Who'd go to church here? They built it 300 years ago. Must have been nicer then. But you promised. So, they don't... No, I think. we've tried. She's not telling you all she knows. Keep her talking. Get a feeling leaving stuff out. What else going on? What else? Uh... Well, there's that music. Music from across the sea. And now, suspicious... Perhaps the mysterious music is somehow connected to the case. A Risalka or a half-demonic Absura. Before you get to the church, 
where some ruins, an apartment complex, or some kind of electrical plant. Run down bunch of houses. Empty. Okay. That's just... True. I don't know exactly. A pre-war place. It used to be something. Before the war. I wasn't here then, you know. Was born in Samara. Semantics. Goddamn fucking loopholes. Of note, the old fish market up on the boardwalk. But it's closed. Nemo. Are you just getting your uh, dad joke practicing? No one. That's why it's closed. It was once a bustling place, back when I was young, <laughs> and so was everyone else. Now, what cash we do bring in goes straight into a lorry for the Delta or somewhere else. What? You are one of those real estate people with big plans? If you want a development opportunity, As a mom, you can that check you. out the app. Used to be a supply depot, we think. Sending goods and ammo across the bay. I don't like it's this. Can't shut though. We tried to get in, see if there was any... And now you know everything there is to know about this coast. All my friends get respect and I just get shat on. I see how it is. Me? No one. Just an old washerwoman. Mother called me Isabel, if that's what you are. Yeah, me. that's the uh, sentiment I'm getting. And my name is Sadie. Now it's your turn, Mr... Why the handle you got there? So many titles. One of them, double. <laughs> what do you want with a lost jacket? Nemo, I don't think you know what the word subtle means. That's an excellent question. Uh, that's for me to, you know, find out. There's an honor in retrieving lost things. I'm afraid I can't comment, official policeman. He probably pawned it for booze. And yeah, then that's what you take a sledgehammer to the fingers. You know how to drunk do. men are? are you that's what I thought you thought for it at meant. Least? What? You're fetching someone's pissing laundry free of charge. In fact, he does. None of my business, either way. Anyhow, you might ask Lillian if she's seen anything lately. Some kind of superstar. They say the world isn't ready for a rock and roll cop. No one wants their state monopoly on violence to be mixed with celebrity worship. They claim to know it would be dangerous for detectives to rise to the ranks of demigods and have sexual encounters with barely legal cover girls. It would be insane, they say. To all this, you say, Fuck off and die, in a cool voice. <laughs> you people have no idea how good these cops are gonna Is get. Is that a new thing? Has it not crack been there long? Twenty cases a day. In the future, cops will be like astrophysicists, or prime ministers, or prophets, and you're the first one. Okay, I assume they would have had it a while. To my new home. The door has seen better days. The layer of paint has started to peel off due to the salt and wind from the sea. Even okay. the rock looks slightly rusted. I'll wait outside to again. I, some time I think privacy to this weekend was the first time I picked up the switch in what? But just so you know, maybe two years. After we are done with the day, I'll still be staying in the whirling rags for the night. 
We'll meet in front of the shack in the morning. The key turns with a satisfying click. <laughs> oh, is Diamond that soon? Well, I guess I'm going to be playing a lot more of it then. But I need to complete Xenoblade no first. Mirror hangs on the wall. You see the reflection of your face in it. A brisk coastal wind still howls against the window of the shack. Occasionally, the waves crawl in under the foundation, producing a low hum. The room feels I kind of forgot like the context of being dead on Friday. I just assumed. Outside, it is cold and windy, but you're inside. <laughs> and it feels safe and warm. What is this place to you? Money hanger, where can I listen, sit, drink, and die while looking at the waves roll in? My thought base for the social part of the operation. It's free. That's good enough. I could live here. Looks like this is my new home. Wonder where the old one went. Westward, across the canal. Towers the whirling in rags. Door number one on the second floor is locked. Behind it lies a trashed room. One floor below, another Pokemon addict like my missus stands an irritable man. In a small shack in the fishing village, a baroque heater that doesn't surprise me. Emanating At all. a sense of comforting warmth. A wash basin lies on the table. The water inside reflecting the somber face of the world. Far away, on the corner of Perdition and the Main, a nondescript building, obscured in a haze. It's vacant and lost, just like its tenant. No, wait, I changed my mind. I want you to get... Outside, the howl of the wind has picked up. Waves the waves up. crash against the stilts again. It's as if you think the thought, but in someone else's voice. Look under the floor... On the table, you see a bowl of water, a rough soap, and next to it, a small hand mirror. A strip the water reflects back a vague image of your face. Nose bulbous and red, hair unkempt, wrinkles lining the eyes and forehead. The stash is gigantic. You'll be looking like a pansy without the chops. A fucking pansy. Shaving time! Like an artist with a brush or a master swordsman, you used a small mirror and a straight razor with some soap to remove all that unkempt hair from below the nose line. The sharp blade chafes against your skin, producing a scratching sound. They feel so smooth, surprisingly so. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Much appreciated. I like being deafened. The water reflects back a vague image of your clean shaven face. Despite the bulbous nose, unkempt hair, <laughs> and persistent swelling, you look a little younger, maybe. The roar was for subbing. I'll try to offend you less. That's Vegas about as much as I can promise. Makes <laughs> God damn it. Rawr. That's what you're getting. That water's cold. That's a pain. I just ran out of water.
<laughs> there you go. Fresh water. I has water. <sighs> How many points do you have left? Rawr. I need to change the roars. He definitely has over 9,000. He has over three times that much. Fun facts. We're seeing letters. Yeah, don't count on it being that correct again anytime soon. <laughs> Three times plus 100. I'm an actual genius. 100? 1000? Fuck. Well, that was short lived. <gasps> Shut up, Elo. Um, what's over here? Elo's a big boy, he can take it. I'm not even sure I have friends at this point. I just have torturers. You see a once bright new room towering above you. The signage has peeled off over the years, but you can still make out. Fell Let's be careful that Elo doesn't R make you suffer for your naughty ways. A slogan used to intertwine with the loops a long time ago. Now, life is only pain. The shadow of peeled letters remains. It says, <laughs> "Tomorrow is just a." Trust whisper. you, Charles. <laughs> Looks like tomorrow never came. Rip. Um, what's up here? Can I get up there? The remaining windows rattle from a strong gust of wind. They're covered in a thick layer of grime. They must have been like this for 40 years. No. I won't even try. You know, I had a partner once. They called him Eyes because he had to show me things. It's that bad. Aww. Poor Kim. This partner of his, Eyes, things didn't end well. It saddens him to say his name. Don't even. Ooh, phone. I assume that's a phone. Wait, there's quick travel in this game? Payphone under a yellow plastic dome. You hear the tone. 
The machine is inoperable. Dial random number. Calling. Still calling. This feels wrong. End of turn. Shakes, you know what I'm like. Don't expect it. From yeah, I can't dispute that. I'm not even gonna try. Uh, what's over here? Kick from poles. Music's coming from somewhere on the ice. You feel the building. Okay. This looks like a church. Dusty pews, shadows, money seems to be missing. I'll shroud in dark or something like that. It's too dark to tell. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea worn ornamentation appears in stone. Inspect contrast the carpentry! The carving on the door is block like and angular, like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. The surface is smooth from the wind, but moist to the touch. This cheap-looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock, you see a yellow circle with two X's and a big curve below them that looks like a mouth. You're pretty sure you haven't seen it before, but... What the symbol depicts is clear enough. A smiling dead guy. The curve makes it smile and the X's. He takes off his glasses and uses a blue handkerchief to thoroughly wipe them clean before inspecting the sticker. Then he looks up, pauses and replies. No. Looks like a dead man smiling. Suggests junior delinquency. I haven't seen that sticker before. And I'm not a youth. Try and peel off sticker without ripping it. There's nothing like Success! The sticker I'm peeling. Now it's stuck. Put the sticker in your ledger after the last entry where it belongs. Put the sticker on your ledger. Right on the cover. Shake it off your phone, throw it in the bin. Now nah, I'm sticking like it. Today straight in the paperwork. Start day. Nothing happens. Only the I don't think that's going to High above, the wind wraps the church in its rush cold and wet from the ocean bay. It parts around the massive keel-shaped roof, like a test tunnel washing both sides, the way it has done for 340 years. The wind keeps its distance, so should you. There is a hole in my heart. The lieutenant looks at the padlock. He didn't hear you asking. You were quiet enough. The padlock passes through a staple that's been hastily attached to the carving on the... The doors remain unchanged. If you really think we should get in there, we need to find some other way. Yes, the pulsing base. An indic... Hmm. Okay. Anything down this way? Run! Ooh, money. Back and forward I go. Doesn't look like much over there. Let's get up here. Someone has left an unidentifiable article of clothing on this railing. It's
It smells really bad. It's streaked with dried seagull shit and tangled with pieces of seaweed. A dangling arm suggests that there might... Please tell me you're not taking that with you. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to have it returned. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy sometimes? I step back at him. is faintly pronounced. Whoever this is, has been dead for two days. Another dead body. Calm now. He's wearing mud caked boots, beige trousers, and an old brown leather jacket with a bright blue lining. There are traces of kebab sauce on his chest. You find some sunflower seeds and a rain soaked library card folded it's... into two. Oh. This jacket feels sodden and heavy. It's the woman's husband. Hand. Good. We should take a look at that lab. The man has fallen through a crack in the boardwalk and hit his head against the metal bench. Coagulated blood covers his black hair. One well, of his way feet to go. is still dangling. You have to be quite inebriated to fall that bad. Well over a liter of pure ethanol. Three bottles of wine or what? His expression is dull like the sea behind him. Drops of water shining on his mustache. <laughs> his eyes empty height. 170 is that based on the amount you he drink or when he died. just the I way he went out alone, most likely. he was just about to hit there's some dried blood on the metal bench right where the corpse's head rests the floorboards are rotten and slippery wet around be very very careful where you a dried chunk of blood covers the hair at the back of his head this is where he came out of himself drop by drop when he was unconscious. Oh, I have a problem. It took three. <laughs> you don't see any other major wounds, do you? Can't blame you for trying. Seems like the head wound was fat at. They screech under your feet ominously. It's hard to say whether the dead man's weight was the cause of the boardwalk. You see waves churn a 0.75 liter Tallulah mm -hmm. vodka with its cap missing. There's hardly anything left inside. It's mid-market spirits with a slight touch of menthol. The man meant to enjoy himself, have a good time. Tear all around us. I'd prefer if you didn't collect them this time. It True. It f Rabowski spearmint chewing gum. Green leaves on the cover. The blackness of death. Stench. He ate the whole pack, right? It's to cover the smell of alcohol <laughs> before going home. I've seen it before. Who's Almost that aimed at? Scenario. Even the chewing gun. It's always the same. In a ditch off a road below the 881, he thinks. A young father. <laughs> then he shakes the entire boardwalk. Looks like one of the locals. He'd have to know. But that's just a lazy assumption. What do you think? The woman you met at the book stand? Why do you think it's her husband? Leather jacket, bottles, like Ricard. I can't see a book. So he took the book to the library, then came back and thought, I'll have one. Just one drink. I have my cool jacket on. I took the book to the library. I've earned it. The view from the lookout. Damn it. He's death by misadventure. He slipped and fell through the boardwalk. 
a truly unfortunate accident. If it wouldn't have been for that bench, he'd be alive. Oh yes. Some symptoms of acute alcohol poisoning could have definitely played a role here. But I think that death arrived through head trauma. What about it? The deceased ate some kebab. It's probably from a nearby place, maybe in the park. Now I want kebab. They'll seal this place off after the news reaches the coalition officials. I doubt that they have enough resources to act. Not that sealing it off would... No, I don't see... Yes, but what if there's a killer on the loose? Too suspicious. Without any further evidence, it does seem to be a pretty straight... From where I stand, I can see two options. We either take the case and follow the leads to identify the body on our own, or we <laughs> report back to the station and leave this for our colleagues to handle. All right, we should first examine the library card you found. A man lies on the boardwalk. There's some tear, two empty bottles of Tulu. No, there's more in there. Livis strawberry liquor, plus some pills in the bottles too. Better not pick them up. They seem unhygienic. A tragedy. Watering he shakes well. his head with genuine sadness. Whoever tossed it here was a heavy smoker. Now, this makes partying look bad. Still, you see traces of mayonnaise and ketchup on it, as well as a tomato wedge. The wrapper reads, Shish Kebab River Shore. <laughs> God damn it, Elo. Uncomfortable. It's a sordid, filthy tale, not for the weak. Are you sure you, it occurs to you that you're not even holding the jacket itself, but rather the thick crust of jetsam and seagull shit that ensconces it? It smells like a dead sea creature, tangled in grey strands of seaweed. It must have spent quite some time in the water before the tide deposited it ashore. Why? Why did you think about it? Look at your hands. They're covered in muck. Now you're just flicking that shit everywhere. This is a disaster. You... The library card is folded into two and still slightly wet to the touch. The front side reads, Central Jamrock Public Library Card, issued to... I mean, you did kind of ask him to. July 53. Whoever owns this card is an avid reader. You find a list of books written in blue pencil. Radio thriller. <laughs> Stand a little less between most of these titles. If lost, please return the card to the library. Dial 005-02-55211. Or visit us at Moreau Street. <laughs> <Good>. you <should laughs> give them a call. I forgot he could do that, in honesty. Man lies on the well. Let's go get rid of this filthy jacket and give it to the drunkard. Actually. Can I ring the library? You pick up the handset. There's a tone. The machine is operable. Calling. Still again. Someone with a... Hello, Gerard speaking. What douchebag name? Thanks for calling, asshole. Phone. Disconnect tone. Calling. 
calling. Calling. Still caught. Still. Stop calling me, man. So pick up voice. I'll get you your money, all right? I just need to tonight. Let me work. Tetis. I, um... Hey! You're not Tetis. Screw you and don't ever call here again. You're fucking with some serious people. Disconnect Brilliant. Tone. <clears throat> yeah, let's stop calling people for now before Kim gets upset. As I said, back down to the homeless man. Homeless man, drunk good. Same thing. Tequila, what's in ah, wrong button. Uh, Go away. Shut up. I was once a re so you ah, tequila. I knew you'd come through. What's that supposed to mean? What's that got to do with my jacket? What do I care about some local stiff? You gonna give me the jacket? Let me see. What? This isn't my jacket. My jacket was beautiful. This is fucking filthy. What am I supposed to do with this? I'm not taking a disgusting pile of hobo rags. I may be in an irrecoverably decaying orbit, but I've still got standards. <laughs> Either bring it back the way it was before, or find a dumpster to burn it in. You know, despite the guano, it looks like the jacket itself is stain resistant. It may just need a good scrubbing. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, I'm going to finish up there for tonight. Thank you for everyone being here and abusing me or being abused by me, as it may seem. I'll chat to you guys soon. Hope everyone has a great night. Rah. Have a good one, everyone.